Welcome to the Art of Mark's Trains, Part 12. And today I want to show you a purchase that I made uh, online about a week ago. Just arrived today. And it's an auction for an old beat up toy train set. And uh, wasn't that much money. And. <clears throat> Just show you it is marks mostly everything in here is marks and there's a caboose and it's a beater missing the windows and it's just beat up but I thought it would be fun to see if I could make it run and you know somewhat presentable there's a it's like a battleship, plastic battleship. Uh, okay, here's a gondola, and uh, it's uh, it's pretty rough, but uh, looks like it's a pre-war car, as is the caboose. That little slot in the coupler and the narrow black wheels. Makes it a pre-war car. Older transformer. What a disaster. This uh, really was a pig and a poke. There's a tender. Beat up. Looks pretty awful. Um, bunch of track. There's a truck with a piece of metal on it. More track. Throw a piece of slot car track. Oh, and a slot car. Check that out, like a little... Whatever it is. Uh, more track. There is a Mark Semaphore manual semaphore kind of bent at the end um, wind up Commodore really rough shape look at the coupler is all bent up it's a locomotive which would be pretty fitting with the year that this came out so all this seems like it goes together, except for the mechanical Commodore and uh, Hopper pre-war. Oh, there's the uh, where the missing plate is, but it's pretty beat up. What a junker! And check this out. This is the pig in the poke. Pennsylvania cattle car. How did all these trains get beat up so bad and yet the Pennsylvania cattle car is the star? I have no idea. More track. Some of the missing wheels. There's a manual, left-hand turnout, track, track, track. Oh, there's a key for the Commodore. That'll be handy. And more track. And let's see what we have down in the bottom. Oh, there's the wheels for the locomotive. And some kind of plastic piece. Zim foam. Piece of erector set. Oh, uncouple here, sign. And then there's the base for it. That's fixable. There's a gear for the Marks motor. Uh, more wheels. Wait for the tender. Bunch of junk. So, 
we'll see if we can make something out of this. I was able to piece the freight cars back together, straighten the bent sheet metal, and uh, got it on the track, ready to go. Not finished with the locomotive, so here's a stand-in. It's not the same one. Let's give it a run. So there you have it, the uh, Pennsylvania cattle car is definitely the prize in the set. was able to straighten the semaphore, repair the uncouple here sign, there's the uncoupling track, um, all the wheels are back, still pretty rough cars. The uh, l &E hopper is uh, it's a good car. And uh, it's the one that has a, a slot for the bar, but the slot's painted shut. And uh, the locomotive will run. Just need a few more parts. And I thought the cast iron weight that fits in the back was pretty unique. And then the other surprise that I thought was pretty good was this Commodore runs really well. I was able to uh, wind it up and turn it loose on my layout and it went 70 or 80 feet before it stopped so that's pretty good. Well, Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another edition of the Art of Mark's Trains.